Another group two is race six or not, one of the Breeders' Crown Carnival. The Always Be Mickey Breeders' Crown graduate pace is free for all. What a race, I would dare say. Even with uh, all the group one finals on Saturday night, this could be the race of the weekend. But we want pressure. Will we get it? Let's have a look at the map. Rock and Roll Icon's got okay early speed. Can't refuse is quick. But first up from a long break, and I don't think they'll opt to use Can't Refuse's speed here because I just think it's too dangerous first up from such a long break. We know Born to Rock and Roll gets out really, really well. Audi here can fly the arm, but there seems to have been a commitment over middle trips not to do so. Short course trips, yes. Middle trips, no. Phoenix Prince has got really good early toe, but not enough to get across Born to Rock and Roll. And my Kiwi mate will be the one off the front line going back at the start. So the way I see the map is the Loriston Bloodstock Horses owned by Bill and Ann Anderson. Dominating proceedings here. Born to Rock and Roll to find the front. Rock and Roll icon to occupy the position behind the leader. What will Kima Frenning do with Buster Brady? I honestly think she just has to follow through from gate eight and hope to be three poles at very worst because we know that Buster Brady's got a great turn of speed. Unfortunately, he'll have to go back a long way in the field, I think, if they make a right-hand turn at the start. Now, where do the mid-race moves come from? Phoenix Prince is going so well, he might want to keep the breeze, but I reckon if a move comes from a horse like Courts in Session, who's been racing tough and running consistent 150 miles at Tabcor Park, an angle of recent times, that he might be able to get up on the premises. But there's so many warriors off the second row. Code Black will make a move at some point. Jillaby Bandit will know will probably race on the running line or in the running line for a fair while, but we want to be charging the race at some point. Rappers Delight will be looking for a softish trip, you would think, first up from a long break. And then my Kiwi mate as well. So you're going to have three across the track and maybe lines of four here, which is going to be a magnificent spectacle. It's all going to be dependent on tempo, who can win this race. If Born to Rock and Roll leads and can dictate proceedings, he will win. But if some of those second row runners get really itchy and really aggressive, knowing this is a high quality affair worth $60,000, you get into a situation where six, seven, eight horses can possibly win the race.